in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Let's all sing together. I'm Alex. This is the Ramble. We go until midnight tonight from New York City and Harlem. Ladies and gentlemen, boy, are you bundled up. That, that That's Stephen Kravitz, ladies and gentlemen, up in Massachusetts. It, it's, hey, that, it's that cold, huh? It's cold. What what's with the uh, with the uh, uh, you know heat? Don't you have heat in your apartment? My heating bill last month was three hundred dollars. Oh God, that bad? Yeah. Well, my electric bill last month was three hundred and forty four dollars, but I've got I don't know twelve rooms in here, eleven rooms. Right. Then I've got like one, two, three, four, uh, five television sets okay plus really? i've got one two three four five computers working all the time so that's why my bill is so high in fact yesterday it was freezing in the apartment because we have this uh radiate these radiators or as right. as my wife calls them radiators radiators and i try to tell her they're not radiators they're radiators. They don't radiate, okay? <laughs> they radiate. <laughs> but Point she, made. She won't Point listen. Point made. Oh, yeah. So anyway, oh, I, t I changed your name last time on here. We have to change it again, I guess. No, wait a minute. Uh, uh, un unmute yourself, will you? I just muted you by accident. Um, let me see here. Uh, rename. Uh, what name would you like today? Huh? <laughs> Just Kravitz. Oh, Kravitz. Okay, Kravitz. I I don't know why this changes itself after I do it. I guess I d guess when I do it, it doesn't hold it. But there we go. See now, look how I can rename him, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. There you see, go. see, it's uh, that simple. Anyway, where are we? Oh yeah. So uh, 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 you know, my electric bill is high too. But I mean, how many rooms do you have? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. You 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 can find yourself a seven room apartment? Yeah. <laughs> Laundry room, second bedroom. Yeah. First bedroom. Yeah. Walk in closet. Well, that doesn't count. Okay, kitchen. Yeah. Living room. Yeah. Pantry? Mm, you know, I mean, yeah, I guess I would count them. If I was counting rooms right now, I would count like this is one, two, three, four, five, six, pantry, seven, because it's a big, big pantry. Seven, um, I got more rooms than that. I'm trying to figure out the rest of the rooms. Anyway, I've got something like they count it as like about 10 or 11 rooms here. Yeah. It's 2,500 square feet. Is that good enough for it? It's bigger than most homes. Uh, it is. Yeah. But it, it, it $344 a month for electricity. And I, I talked to my Third. wife last night. I said, I think we got to turn off some of the TV sets, you know, because we have all these TV sets, and uh, they're they're eating up a lot of energy, you know. So Are she, they on all the well, time? Well, she turns the one on here in the office, and then she turns one on in the living room, and then she turns one on in the kitchen, and then she comes back here to work, and all those are going at the same time. Okay. All right. Secondly, you know how you can cut down on your uh, on your bill? You know that little box you get for the cable? Yeah. Do you know how much that costs you a month in electricity? No. Eight dollars a month, on average. Just a box. Yeah, I got six. I got five boxes here. I'm paying forty bucks in extra electricity just for the boxes, and if they're not turned on, they're still on. So, there's there's a little hint for you. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you folks, if you have more boxes than you need, it's something obscene about what I just said. If you have more yes. boxes than yeah, you I need. I left it alone. I left it alone. Well, we used to have more boxes than we need. Now we have more than enough. Anyway, <laughs> Uh, but if you have more boxes than you need, take one of them offline. Get uh, Unplug it. Don't use it. I, I can't do that because we use all of them. You know? Right. So, uh, But it, 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 they're, th these things cost a, a lot of money. And I don't know why somebody doesn't say, let's make a cable box that doesn't cost that much money in electricity. So anyway, you look like you're ready with your look today, like you're ready to go with the Donner Party. <laughs> yeah, going out for lunch. Years ago, Bobby Slayton got married um, at um, what? I think guess it, guess it was Harris on the North Shore. Yeah, not, not Harris. It was Caesars on the North Shore, and uh, it was there was this like uh, what can we call it? Meadow to the side of the place, and right. you could rent a sleigh that would hold like about 10 people and you could go out into this meadow. So they said, okay, we're, we rented the sleigh and we're going out into the meadow to get right. married. And we go out into the meadow and it is, it is freezing. freezing, just freezing. And so bad that the guy who was right running the sleigh had a mustache and a beard and it was frozen. Okay. That's God. how bad it was. And so everybody's huddled up like you look right now, right? Like this, right? right. And I, I took a picture of them all, and I titled it The Donner Wedding Party. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, it was it was brutal. Just brutal. Was it just this past month? Huh? Well, what month no, oh, it? no, no, no. This was years ago. Yeah, but what month was it? Was it winter? Oh, it was it was like December, January, probably February. Like, you know, those months where it's really cold. We think of December as, oh, that's winter. But it really, if anybody who lives in the areas we do knows that uh, uh, January and February are brutal months. And if we're lucky, we get an easy March. Right, if we're lucky. If we're lucky. So, and, uh, but, uh, but so how cold is it? How cold is it up there? Right now, it's probably in the 30s. Really? What is it here? I can look at my watch and find out. Oh, it's 52. 52? 52, yeah, yeah. You can go out jogging. You, you, I, and my wife is out walking right now with her girlfriend. And she said when she comes back, you want to go for a walk? And I go, is that exercise? And she goes, yes. And I go, no. Oh, who's calling me? What is this? What is this? I, I shouldn't have even brought the phone in here. There we go. I'll turn it off. Uh, let me let me get rid of them. It, it's usually it's usually those damn. What do you call? You don't get those calls yet, do you? You just recently moved in, so I don't know if they have their phone number yet. Do they? No, uh, my phone number hasn't changed in oh. thirty years. Oh, okay. So you have the same phone number. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we take cell phones with us now. So you get a right. lot. You you get these calls, don't you? These these robo calls. Oh yeah. You know the oh, one, yeah. You know the ones that bother me the most. Not the robo call that starts off and hi, you we're we're calling from Visa. Blah 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 blah. Right, 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 right. right, right. I don't mind that. What I mind is when I pick it up and there's nothing. <laughs> there's just nothing and the thing that bothers me the second amount of much <laughs> the second amount of much i just invented a new term the second amount uh it are are the ones i get with people start talking in chinese really yes you don't get any of those i don't answer the phone i don't answer numbers i don't i don't recognize i no neither do i you know but, uh, you know, if you call me, it comes up Alex. But the problem is that sometimes the person who's calling you is someone uh, that you really want to hear from, you know, that you have a reason to hear from. Right. Uh, um, like, uh, you know, a doctor or something like that, and he, 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 his number just doesn't, you don't recognize it, say, go, oh, okay, all right. Right, blow well, it off. Uh, listen, I tried to call you a couple of days ago, but nobody answered. Well, what's the problem, doctor? You're dying. You know, I mean, right, 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 right. I'm back. 
how, when, how long do I have to live? He said, well, I didn't know if I would get an answer when I called, you know, so. But uh, it, it, you look all bundled up, and you haven't been out much, right? Oh, no. No. Oh, no, oh, no. No. I, I'm bundled up to go get the mail. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so so um, you're bundled up to go get the mail, but you don't. You, you, I asked you this last time. You, you haven't had the shot, or you can't get the shot. You're not old enough. I'm not old enough. I'll be old enough in two weeks. In two weeks, I think. You, couldn't you kind of fudge it? You know, because if you make your appointment now, you probably won't have it for two weeks anyway. So just say you're six. You're sixty-five, and then when you go there, show them your identification. It'll probably be. A, a, fine then so you should you should go try and make an appointment now all right you know that's, right. that's my suggestion to you right yeah but um um you've been feeling okay right you, oh you were on some medicine last time we talked right the uh hepatitis medicine yeah and that's all finished up finished up actually last week tuesday mm -hmm. and I'm starting to feel a little more energetic because that medicine really knocked you out. Knocked me out. Plus, yeah. in two months that I was on the medication, mm -hmm. I gained 16 pounds. Wow. I am now, my Indian name is He Who Has Girth. <laughs> he Who Has Girth. <laughs> well, I'm taking a pill that does that to me, too. You know, I've gained about 20 pounds or something because I've been taking Unbelievable. This medicine. Yeah, well. You know, um, I lost a lot of weight a while back, about 60 pounds. Right. And I was happy with that. And then all of a sudden I'm getting back like 20 of it, you know, because of this, right. you know. So, I mean, it, it just, but that's what happens is you get older, they just go, oh, take the pill. Here's a pill for you. Right. Go ahead, take it. You know, right. what does it do? We don't know, but just take it. You're old. Just try it. You're try old. It. You're probably, you, you know, it. of course it's addictive. Of course you're going to have a heroin habit, but, you know, you're going to be dead in a few years anyway. Yeah, so, you what know? the hell? Yeah. So they always have this, you're going to be dead anyway attitude about me. And I go, Jesus Christ, you know. And then I'm I'm looking last night at a, at a list of people who are old, the actors who are old. And, and there were names on there. Suddenly I realized I hadn't heard from them in years. Right. And they didn't die. They just got older. How old do you think Jane Hackman is? No idea. 91. Right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking, 91, and I'm 81. That's 10 years from now. I'm watching porn that's older than that. <laughs> you know, good night. Good night. Good night. You know, I mean, see you around, folks. I don't know. I, uh, who, who knows? Maybe I'll live to be 100 like my mother. But my I, grandparents both lived to be over 100. Over 100? Yeah. Really? And my mother made it to 100. She, It's like she hit the finish line and she said, I'm through. I'm out of here. Right. You know? Well, my, my grandfather was 102 mm -hmm. and my grandmother was 104. Wow. Wow, well, you got some great genes there, then. I have some very good genes. Yeah, and that's the reason you abused your body all those years. That's exactly right. Because you figure that, you know, you've got a certain buffer. <laughs> <laughs> now, maybe you won't live to be 104, but you could live to be 91 and still do all those drugs and all that partying and all the other stuff that you did. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. Who, I could outlast them all. Who said? Who who was the person who said? Uh, uh, if I uh, I wouldn't have done if I knew I was going to live this long, I wouldn't have done all those drugs years ago. <laughs> you know, I mean, is it, is it, isn't it uh, like a water cooler joke? It's a cliche. Yeah, yeah, it, and it is. I mean, but the truth of the matter is that when you're younger, you just what the hell? How long am I going to live? Yeah, right. you know. And and you do you do a lot of stuff to your body that later on in life you go you know if I hadn't done that I wouldn't be feeling like I'm feeling right now. Yeah, and I have money in the bank. That too, that too. I I go why didn't I save that or why didn't I buy that stock? You know, right. You know, right. Right. Why right. didn't I buy Facebook when it was three cents a, a share? Right. I, I had a company. I worked for Sirius XM, and they almost went bankrupt. They almost went belly up 
And the week that they were belly up, their stock went to five cents a share, I think. That's how low it went, like five really? cents. Five, five, five cents a share. And I thought to myself, I should buy this. You know, I could buy, I had $10,000. I should buy $10,000 worth of this stock right. at five cents. But I didn't. And I was working there. I knew what was going on. I didn't know whether we were still going to have jobs the following Monday. But I, right. you know, I figured, hey, if I do this and it goes belly up, then I lose 10 grand. But then I don't know what to do. If I had invested that 10 grand at five cents, it's now around $6. Right? Do the you math. Did. Do the math. You'd be a very wealthy man. Exactly. Exactly. So, I, you know, I, I, I don't feel good about that. I wish I hadn't spent all that money that I spent back in the early days and banked it a lot, you know. Yeah, but you know what, Alex? I, what? You, you can't take it back. It, it made you who you are. Just yeah. deal with it. Yeah, well, I spent all that money, believe it or not, back then taking guys like you out to dinner. Oh yeah, you, you know, I, every, everybody went, who went to dinner with me knew that they weren't, weren't going to have to pay, and I did it also because the comics were making me a living. You know, right. they were helping me out. So hey, who, what do they need most? Food in their mouths, okay? You know, and right. a nice dinner somewhere. So I would take them to dinner. You know, and and, right. no, and nobody ever said, "No, Alex, I'll pick up the check." I never got that. Never happened. You know, you knew when you went out with Alex, he was going to pick up the check. We, uh, we always thought the radio station was picking up the check. Uh, uh, uh. But I picked up the check uh, for another reason. Um, I don't like fighting over the check. Right. Like, what did you have? Right, <laughs> you right, 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 and then, right. And, and then some guy at the table who's good with math is adding up what everybody owes. No, fuck it. Here, I'll pay. Use my card. Right, 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 right. And I had enough money to say, you know... I'll I'll take care of it. I won't let it bother right. me. So, but uh, so you're you, so you're feeling better now. And oh, yeah. uh, how do you find out whether you have uh, what was it hepatitis C or not? Uh, three months May I, I have blood work done mm -hmm. and it should be undetectable. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? That's Isn't wonderful. that amazing? It, 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 it's amazing. You know, we, we when at times we wonder if science can really help anything. We do. We have cured things, you know? Yeah, we talked about this, yeah. now, how AIDS is now undetectable. Yeah, AIDS is undetectable. Uh, what else is it that we, well, of course, we got rid of polio. I mean, that, yeah. that was a biggie, too, because when I was growing up, every kid I knew had polio. I, I knew a kid that had polio. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's always some kid who didn't come to school that year because they were in an iron lung at home. Right. You know, I mean, right. it was a it was a terrible, horrible disease, and it went after kids more than it went after adults. That's right. The only That's thing is, right. when FDR had it, um, he was a rare adult that got it to that extent. I mean, he, right. he couldn't walk. Uh, but I mean, uh, it, so we do we do cure things, you know. And I th think we're taking care of this COVID nineteen now with this vaccine. So, you know. I hope so. Now, now, have you gotten your second one yet? I'm going to go get my second one on on Saturday. Uh, and uh, uh, I understand with the first one, they now have found, and in Israel, they came out with a report, they have found that with the first shot, you're 90% protected. Really? Yeah. They just want the second shot as a booster <gasps> to kind of just keep it rolling. Right, but, that, but, but that if you didn't get the second shot, you'd at least be 90% protected. And I, uh, another guy was on TV the other day saying that no one who has gotten the shot in this country has come down with COVID. Or if they came down with COVID and we went to the they went to the hospital, it wasn't serious enough to hospitalize them. Right, right, so right, that, right. So that's a pretty big advance, and that's a big jump we made in a matter of months. Yes, you know? yes. So good, and now somebody good else is coming us. out with the third vaccine. Yeah, oh, there's a third, there's a fourth. You have Johnson and Johnson. You have uh, then you have AstraZeneca, which is right. is comes out of the Europe, I think. Uh, and uh, it, it, they're all supposed to be fine. You know, they're all supposed to do the job. The but, thing is, getting the shots to us. Well, putting them in putting them in arms, as they say. Right. And, and uh, you know, every state is trying, and they're trying really hard. And uh, 
you know, they're doing what they can do because the Trump administ administration did nothing, did absolutely yeah. nothing. Uh, they d uh, denied its existence for the longest time. And when they finally didn't deny it anymore, they weren't wearing masks or showing people good behavior during a pandemic. Right, right, right. So, I mean, uh, we're, 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 we're on our way to a solution. Okay, I think by by Christmas of this year, people are going to be able to go to thank Christmas parties or go to Thanksgiving dinner, and yeah, not that'd really be nice, wouldn't and, it? and really not have to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'd say I have. How many Thanksgiving dinners have you gone to with relatives? You know, my question is: Do you want to go to more? <laughs> <laughs> There's always that uncle you hated or the, you know, somebody, right. yeah. You know, or the arguments that broke out between relatives. That's the other one. That's uh, always a pleasure. Hey, by the way, I, I'm running over here and I don't care. I like talking with you. D have you watched this? Uh, do you get HBO at all? No. Are they, they're running this Woody, this uh, Mia versus Woody documentary. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And it's so unfair to Woody. It's ridiculous. You know? And, of course, he's not going to sit for an interview. He doesn't want to. He, right, he, right. You know, the interview he's... I saw an interview he did in 1992 that was... that said it all. He, he literally sat down with 60 Minutes and said, I usually don't talk. I wasn't going to talk about this. But it's just become so pervasive in my life that I've got to somehow set the record straight. Okay. Right, right, right. And right. he set the record straight. There's nothing in this documentary that's any different than the conditions were in 1992 when this whole thing started. Right. And they, if nothing more, they should have gotten the 60 Minutes interview and run stuff from that. Instead, they went to his audio book and stole a, a, a reading by him from the book. Okay? I mean... It's it's terrible. It's a terrible piece of journalism, and uh, shame on HBO. Uh, right. You know, yeah. And, and I, what bothers me is, and it would I, you know, and you can, you certainly can feel this way as well because you're a comedian and you create, and you know, uh, here's a guy who probably is having he's having a very hard time finding funding now, not because his movies don't make money. Right. But because of this whole thing that's going on, he's having to get European funding now. He's having to make his movies in Europe. Uh, he should when's, the last, when's the last time you heard of a, what was the last Woody Allen movie? Well, there was one about uh, two years ago, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It was not it was Wonder Wheel, I think it was called. Really? Uh, it was on, and they ran it on Amazon. Uh, but I, you know, outside of that, I mean, I, I just, it bothers me when a person is accused of something, but right. nothing has, he's never been found guilty of that. He's just been accused. And because of the accusations, he can't work anymore. Right. It reminds me so much of what went on in the McCarthy era. Sure, you know, the blacklisting. Yeah. I mean, and I say this for everybody. Kevin Spacey's never been found guilty. Uh, Louis C.K., who you may have known, I knew Louis quite well. Yeah, hasn't worked really since, and he all he all he was was accused, and then he took the high road. He admitted to it, right? You know, and instead of everybody saying, "Okay, you admitted good to it, you. bravo, good for you," no, you can't work anymore. We're letting go of all your contracts at this network and at that network, and he had a lot of things going, right? Right, he uh, did a lot of voice work. He did animation films. Yeah, but he also did, he had like three or four series he produced on cable. Right. You know, and he just wasn't able to work again. And and, and that bothers me because he's such a talented man. And all that happened was a bunch of women said they saw him, they, he had him in his hotel room, and he said, do you mind if I pull out my penis? And none of them said anything, so he pulled right. it out. All right. First of all, he should be lauded as a gentleman. <laughs> because he asked first. Okay? You know? End of story. Hey, listen, we're running out of time here. We've talked for tw about 24 minutes. All right. Uh, no, actually, I have. I'm sorry if I haven't let you say anything. 
That's right. I'm good to listen. <laughs> I hope you enjoy these little sit-downs with us. I, I, yes, I do. I certainly do. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Stephen Kravitz. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, uh, yeah. Ba -da. How are you? Good evening. Uh, I'm Alex Bennett. This is our little program. We go until uh, we go until uh, midnight on the east coast of the United States of America. And uh, I hope you are all having a nice evening, and I hope that we can make it even a little bit more pleasant and a little bit better. Uh, we have a thing called the Citizen Panel. If you want to call the Citizen Panel, uh, go over to gabnet.net. And over on the right-hand side of the page, there's a thing in the middle that says, click here to, to zoom us. And then you just do that, and it puts you right through to the program. And, and you can get on it just like you'll get on, like a lot of other people are going to get on it. Right now, I'm going to admit them all. Okay, I just started admitting. I said admit all. There we go. Uh, and they're, uh, they're all coming on, except I've got to go and do this. There we go. I got it all set up, and we're ready to go. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, so far, our panel for tonight. Hello there. Uh, there's uh, Charlie, and uh, there is uh, Trucker Steve, and there it, with his mood lighting tonight <laughs> is Brian, and uh, then we've got uh, Alan is there. Are you there, Alan? Alan's got to do his hair. He's just trying to get the camera going. He's trying to get the camera going, and we got Robert Natali, and uh, we've you, got you uh, cut it off quick. We got Jeff. What? Oh, you know what? I uh, I hate this. Wow. Uh, when I walk away from my phone and I come back and I didn't hit live, then I don't have the live talk oh. from before. Oh, I see. And I think you're still talking to him. And then I go and all of a sudden I'm coming up here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, anyway, that's good. Oh, oh, look who's got a piece of paper in his hand. Hey, you're using hey. your green screen or something. No, 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 no. That's uh, just uh, the lighting in this room. It's uh, kind of gotten weird. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe I was hallucinating. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 He's the, doing hey. mood lighting too. I see. It's gotten kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. I but, see. Uh, yeah, I, I I just figured this might look a little better for a change. I don't know than that stupid bookcase in back of me. You know. So. Looks good. Who knows? What? Yeah, it looks. It's okay. good. It looks yeah. good. Yeah, it looks. It's it's great. The green screen. I mean, the yeah. thing, I can put it up and take it down in thirty seconds. You know. Plus, you got a blue shirt on. Plus, I got a blue shirt on it. And if I had a blue, mm -hmm. if I went to blue screen, then I have <clears> the stuff <throat> through me, yeah. right? We're picking it up around here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somehow, I, Alan, see. <laughs> I, guess, I guess Alan was having trouble tonight, one way or another. So, anyway, uh, so Robert, why you have a piece of paper in your hand, and whenever we see that, we know it's dangerous. Yes, it is. Um, so last night, you bitch, I mean, you, you talked about the fact that there was a diminishing audience and you were getting depressed about that. So mm -hmm. I spent the day slaving for six minutes and about 32 seconds mm -hmm. of a list of segments that we could do oh, good. or oh, good. nights that we could devote on Ramble. Oh, I see. And, in, other words, you know, in other words, the thing that I've always dreaded, theme shows. Theme night. Oh, yeah. yeah, theme night. Awesome. Theme shows or, you know, just segments within the scope of the program. Within the scope no. of the program. We could, we and could. honestly, I think this should be a homework assignment that everyone should chip in hey. and, and come up with ideas, too. Yeah, you know? well, we but, I, I agree. Okay, yeah, well, we, here are the ones I came up with. Mm -hmm. um, we could do a segment where Alex bitches and moans about his various ailments. Oh, wait, that's in the <laughs> column of things we already do. No, we I'm already sorry. Uh, it's, uh, that's, yeah, okay. uh, That is I the show. Wait a, minute, wait a minute. That is the show. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. No, um, then we could do a night mm -hmm. where it's, uh, we call it, let's start a conspiracy night. You know, where we just decide to start a conspiracy, like Paul is dead, you know, and, and see if we can't get it going. Yeah. Okay. Then we could do uh, philosophical questions such as uh, toilet paper, over or under. You know, like this is a good discussion right there. Over or, or wait, so wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> when have you ever used toilet paper over? No, no the roll. The roll. Oh, the the roll. roll goes over or yeah, under. Do you go, do you go down or do you pull it up? Yeah. 
I, yeah. I'm my I mean, feeling, I, I think I had to argue with a girlfriend about this. Uh, she finally <laughs> went along with me. I, we have it. So how, how many people here have, see, we're already doing this segment. See, I this told you. <laughs> but yeah. is this the correct night for this, Robert? Or no, is this actually, this should be saved. Now, tonight, yeah, this is a teaser. Out ideas. Yes. Now, now okay. remember, Ro Robert is setting this up. So this teaser, now that, you know, the communication is going to go out to everybody and everybody's <sighs> going to say, oh, I want to hear their conversation about over or under on Friday night. And they're all excited about Friday night. See, I think the audience could soar to say 39. So you should, know, we, really, should, should we say that great. Friday will be over under night? Well, I, you know, I, <laughs> we don't know. That's up to you. You're the host. Now, for people who just joined us and are sports fans, we're not talking about betting. No, 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 okay. no, no. Over yeah. under. But you could do another show on over under how many sheets you use. You know, like un, <laughs> over or under four sheets. You know what I never you know, got? Can I say this? I don't know if this is is using the topic up, but I could never understand why they make such a big deal about how many sheets they have on a roll of toilet paper. Me Did too. you ever care about that? No. Yeah. Or how many ply for that? Matter. You know, and I want to know if they have sheets, how big are they? In other words, how often is the perforation? I mean, I could have, you could have 800 sheets, and the perforations could be like that, or you could have 500, and they could be like that. If I Brian, just... look at this. I'm stimulating conversation already. Well, I think it's important because I try to figure out how, you know, if I used one sheet of toilet paper every time I went to the toilet, somehow if I could accomplish that, I I, it would take me 500 you. days to use up a roll of toilet paper. Yeah, I, or, I wouldn't shake hands with you. Or one wife, two days. <laughs> Robert, Robert, you're a genius. Thank you. Einstein, Einstein would even say that. Thank you. Yeah. I have I, another I think, philosophical In fact, question. if Apple ever opens up again, you should work the genius bar. Thank you very mm. much. I, I thank you. Um, I think the number of women might, might show up. Mm -hmm. Well, of that. A, a, another philosophical question could be, is cereal soup? You know, like we could discuss. We could also is do cereal a, a whole soup. Wait a minute. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's, not, got, no, it's, it's not, got liquid and solids in it. That sounds no, like no, soup. Um, so. uh, no, cereal is like, well, there's a crunchy kind. Okay. You're, you're and then there's the oatmeal kind, which is thick. You're spoiling these topics. Oh, you really? Know, oh, I can't get... We, no, you can't do them. That should be next <laughs> Tuesday. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, cereal then, is cereal a soup. We, we, you're we in charge can... of this, to remember. This. Yes, Alan has something to say. Alan? So, cereal, cereal soup, what's diarrhea? It's got... <laughs> okay, well, but we're, we're I getting... Don't it. No, I don't it. even begin to know what to do with that. Uh, uh, <laughs> hold it for next... Is... Hold that for next Tuesday. Yes, these are teasers. <laughs> Not not too much deep discussion I mean, already. That, that could have, that. That could have hey, keep, keep going with this, Robert. I got a the list numbers here, are surging guys. here. Oh, okay. We Sorry. could do a we could do a segment on weird places you've taken a shit. You know, <laughs> that that'd be good. You know something? I, do, I, 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 I have always I've always been very open about my life, right? Sure. Okay. Uh oh, no. and, yeah, yeah, I've always been very uh, open about my life, but the one thing I have never done is I don't have a story about the weirdest place I ever took a shit. Well, then you don't take part that night. No, right. the, yeah, I mean, I don't have one of those stories. I, the, I, I can't think of never, ever doing it in a toilet. Okay, well, another, another segment is <laughs> the best nickname. The well, best nickname you ever heard. Like, for example, back when I was a kid, mm -hmm. there was a kid in our neighborhood that walked like this, like his feet went out, yeah, and like we that. named him, wait for it, Ten to two. Ah, very good. Mm, so, what's the best nickname you ever heard? Right? That was it. Ten yeah. to two. Yeah. Charlie Four Toes. They, oh, yeah. that's, that's, that's the Charlie best ever. Four Toes, yeah. best oh, one, man. best one ever. Because that that has this thing about maybe oh my god maybe Charlie's a gangster and he'll cut off your toes. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe he'll he'll end up got, a <laughs> Or maybe he was a gang, a former gangster, and he gangster. got his toes cut off. And or maybe he has four extra toes oh. and that he could afford to get rid of. Yeah, we could we, we could also do like pick a guy each night and do this is your life, you know. Now that's and that's what, I've, often, on the guy. I've often thought that was a good idea. Yeah, because I often thought that everybody has a story to tell. I mean, if yeah. I if I sat down and started talking to Charlie, 
I'm a good interviewer. I bet I could get some good stories out of Charlie. Well, there you go. Much like you do with Phil, you could do it with other people well, as no, well. No, I don't want to do it like I do it with Phil. No, no I, I don't want you to do anything like that, actually. <laughs> um, we could have a segment called The One That Got Away, where each of us talks about that girl in our past that, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't land the uh, we didn't we didn't land the plane, so to speak. Didn't land the plane? Yeah, well, I mean, I was looking for a metaphor there, and that one came out. It wasn't as good. It wasn't as good as Alan's diarrhea comment, but I'm doing the best I can. You can work on that. Yeah, okay. Um, we could play Would You Rather. You know, like, for example, would you rather spend a year in jail or have a year taken off your life? Discuss. You know, I mean, come on. Either way, you've lost a year of your life. Yeah. Well, yeah, in a way you have, but that's up to you. This is what we're discussing here. These are only ideas and they're teasers for the audience to start coming. Well, I see. We're, 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 we have a lot of people listening right now. This is, uh, this is, see, this, this is good in and of itself. So we're getting out Robert, already. Hey, I demand, to be the new I demand the credit on this show here. <laughs> um, um, then we could do a board game night, you know, like we could play poker and you can't see the other guy's cards ever. You have to take our word for it. Or we could play Monopoly and you don't know how much money I got. You know, that'd be good. Yeah. Board? Um, oh, board. I thought you meant like board, like we're no, tired. Board Only games. a gambler would say something like that. And we could have a segment <laughs> called, who would you date if you were gay? Come on, that'd be good, right? But do like they have, do they, <laughs> wait a minute, do they have to be gay? I beg your pardon? Do they have to be gay? Well, well, not necessarily. I mean, maybe you'd take them by force. I don't know. And I, I don't know. I don't know if dating somebody because they're gay uh, is is enough of a commitment. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I just meant in terms of who attracts you. Mm. Well, Alex would say Phil. Mm, yeah, sure. Now here's a segment. I'm a chub a I'm a chubby. I'm a chubby chaser. <laughs> I think this is a segment I love. I think each night we pick a guy and they have to make a phone call on the air to a relative asking them for money for bail. And we leave it to the relative to figure out what it is we did to get thrown in jail in the first place. Some of that stuff could be humorous, you know, like what would they assume you did wrong? Hmm. We could have an, a, a thing called Desert Island MP3s. Nobody carries Desert Island discs anymore. What MP3s would you have on your <laughs> Desert Island? But you couldn't have an MP3 on a Desert Island because do you have the device to play it with? Hey, oh, look, if Tom Hanks smaller. had a fucking volleyball, I can have a Walkman. Okay. Solar. All right. We Solar. could do Hat Night where each and every you know night on a say Wednesday, we all wear a hat and talk about where we got it and why it's ugly and so forth. Do and all so of you on. have a hat? I know that uh, Trucker Steve there has a hat. There you go. Uh, it's uh, a Blue Jays hat. Yeah, he's getting a good Remember, signal out tonight. You must be you, you must be parked in. somewhere, Steve. Where are you? Uh, Walcott, Iowa, the biggest truck stop in the world. So really? Iowa. Wow. Walcott, <laughs> Iowa is the largest <laughs> truck stop in the United States. Uh, yeah, why? Well, why? Like, uh, I think so. There's something like 800 parking spots or something like that here. Wow. Truck well, stop night. Are and are they, always are they always filled up? I mean, have you gone in there and found them all filled up? Uh, it can, yeah. Why? Is there a reason? Because it's a convergence of something? Or? No, it's just uh, it's a TA. It's, uh, it's just a huge yeah. parking lot. Yeah, and you go there for the food, right? Yeah, they got a big, uh, big store here. Yeah, well, they do. Okay. Yes. Sir. And Rocky's not with me on this trip because I'm in a different truck. Because mine got recalled for uh, for transmission work. There's a bearing that need to need to be replaced. Oh. So okay. Rocky can't come with me on this because this truck belongs to another driver. No. Oh, okay. And he wouldn't like dog shit well, all over the place. He's on vacation. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, Brian, Brian. Yeah. What if we have a segment and. Before Steve tells us where he is, we all guess, we guess. and then the closest <laughs> one to him wins. Yeah, that's there where we go. Put pins and and, on and what does he win? <laughs> is there a prize there with that? Get, uh, get Gabinet that dollars. Gabinet get dollars. <laughs> okay, sure. fine. Good. You, you we, a, we could, do, we could do a whole show blindfolded and see if we can figure out who everybody else on the panel is. 
that'd be good. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I got, um, we could do the worst brand names we've ever heard. Like, for example, Shifty's Funeral Parlor. You know, that, that'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. And then finally, we could do a marathon on night where the show never ends. And the last guy that can stay awake is the winner. <laughs> California is easier. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. No, no, there. but I mean, Plus this could guy. go. This could go several days. Sure. Well, you know, let's see who's got the stuff. I'll be the or first. With that, with that, I rest my case. I'll be the first out. So. Yeah, you may be. Yeah. yeah. So, how's my picture looking to you guys? Wow. Did we all get the oh, new great. backgrounds. Yeah, it looks good. good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. It does look good. Yeah. You got red and orange. It's the gay flag. Blurred, well, I like right? this one because it's really slow. It's not busy, you know. So I, thought, I feel like your shoulder, I, all the shoulder and everything's really tight. It, I feel like I'm, I'm in everything. a womb. By the way, my uh, my machine is now rebooting, not rebooting, but it is uh, changing. It's, it's I'm freezing up here. You'll see me freeze up. Yeah, I, yeah, I go yeah. slow, and then as it. Uh, uh, it's come on it speeds up it, well it isn't uh, it isn't uh, oh it isn't uh, turning around it isn't uh, changing itself come on there we go now it's oh. going down yeah and i'll be a little slow for a while and then i'll suddenly speed up and everything will be fine uh there we go here we go here we go ah okay all right there we go now see now we're fine yes uh alan so on one of the shows you said that Margie talks to people on that are on TV and tells them to shut the fuck up. Yeah, well, she can you has tell her, Yeah. <clears throat> but yet you turn around and talk to the computer about booting up quicker just now. Well, no, it's not booting up. I got I, what happens is I, I have memory here, uh, oh. and and the memory gets used up again for some reason. Especially, it's been very intense lately. I'm trying to find out what program is doing it, okay. and when it gets past a certain point, it it re. Um, uh, allocates the memory, and while it's doing that, I suddenly slow down, and then I speed up. No, know? but you said to the computer, oh, hurry up, or something like that just now. No, well, I meant hurry up, because it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. Right, but so what's the difference between that and Marjorie talking to the TV when somebody's on TV? <laughs> because this computer knows what I'm saying. Oh, I get it. Because I have a microphone, it and then it goes into windows, the machine, then. and the machine knows I'm telling it off. You know, by the way, I Gosh, found out... Gosh, you don't know anything it, about technology, do you? Yeah, by the <laughs> way, I found out... Well, I don't know. Yeah, obviously not. I didn't have my camera plugged in. <laughs> yeah, well, it would help to plug your camera in. Before you get on the show, I had to redo the show and... Who knows? Whatever. Yeah. There's a segment. Let's get snotty with one another. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> we do that all the time. Yeah, you're right. That's that's too common. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, we could we could do we could do a lot of those ideas were very good, Robert. Thank you. Uh, I put I, in a lot of minutes. Who looks the best in speedo? I think my favorite segment would be. Does this look infected to you? Oh yeah, that'd be good. See, yeah. and and we can all have some part of our body that you know has a cut or something like that. Ah, oh, see, now does that yeah. look infected to you? There's there's Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that looks. And, like and look cancer. right up here, right up here. I've got a little pimple here. Does that uh, look like cancer? Does that yeah. look infected to you? See it? Uh, but doesn't this fall that's into what, the that's, that's, Alex that's the beauty of having a four, his ailments that's segment the, of the program? That's the beauty yes. of having a 4K program, a 4K <laughs> camera, because you can see the pimple. There it goes. So. Can I look now? Oh, oh, you're like you're getting a queasy stomach after the segment you just did. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, for what, for what I get paid, you got your money's worth. I guess. So anyway. Uh, um, uh, let, let me see here. Uh, it, I, I was talking to um, uh, Kravitz about this. Anybody see this? This this Woody Allen versus Mia Farrow thing. I want to, yeah. Huh? I want to after what you were talking about. No, but I mean it's it's horrible. I mean shame on HBO. Hmm. I mean it's if, to begin with. Do you know I didn't realize it last night. I went on uh, YouTube. And I went through YouTube, and I, I looked up Woody Allen, and I found Woody Allen, 1992, 60 Minutes. And he's being interviewed about all these charges by Mia Farrow. 
1992 was 29 years ago. And the, what they're doing wow. on this Mif, this Pharaoh versus Allen deal, is simply dredging the whole thing up. There's nothing new on there. This is all stuff that is, you know, happened 29 years ago. But Mia just can't get over it. Yes. You know, and uh, <clears throat> I watched this interview with Woody Allen, and if you go online and watch that interview, it's on YouTube, uh, he explains it very well. You know, he says this woman is uh, is crazy. She's nuts. She said he send, she sends me, you know, uh, Valentine's cards with knives in them and things stuck in them and stuff like that, and they show them. Wow. You know, I mean, he says the woman's loony. And she's poisoning the family against me. And this one son he has, this one stepson he had named Moses, has stood up for him saying, no, he never did anything, you know, and I was around all the time. But if you get to see it, it's just disgusting. It's disgusting that HBO would let something as unvetted as this go on their air. I'm very disappointed in them. Uh, so, anyway. Well, since nobody's seen it, it's not worth talking about, is it? No. Uh, let me see here. Was there anything else? What happened? Anything happened today? <coughs> oh, yeah. Um, Senator Tom uh, Cotton uh, of uh, Arkansas uh, decided uh, that um, he was going to compromise the $15 minimum wage, and he wanted it down to $10, which is going to be difficult in his home state because in Arkansas, the minimum wage is 11 bucks. Is it really? Yeah. Here's the thing I don't get about all of $15 minimum wage? I mean, that's a no-brainer. The fact right. of the matter is, what can you do with a $15 wage? Yeah. Okay, what, get a big apartment in New York City? Yeah, good luck. <laughs> you know, go down to Bloomingdale's and buy out the store? Yeah. You know, come on, 15 bucks? That's chump change. I think it should be somewhere around $25 an hour. And... But no, who doesn't want to do that? You know, people like Walmart, all the places that hire cheap labor. Phil. You know, if a person works for a wage, he works for a dollar or $25, he should get paid a decent wage. You know, you just can't say, hey, we should, right now it's what, $5, is it? Something like that, 5 or $7 $6? $7.25, I think. What is it now? I think it's seven twenty-five an hour. Seven twenty-five an hour. Who can possibly live on seven twenty-five an hour? You know, it's ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe somebody that doesn't do anything like uh, baseball umpires, for instance. <laughs> we're we're oh, in the sorry, let's Charlie. be snotty. Segment. Snarky. This is the let's be no snarky segment. Yes, yeah, snarky. I think this, this fits in with snark more than anything else. Uh, we're about to be joined by Kevin, uh, <laughs> so um, we have the two beards side by side on our screen. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, and then we have Jeff in the middle. He's got a beard, and I've got one. Mm -hmm. How about a show about uh, how long's your beard or something like that? Well, when do you shave it? What? How often do you shave it or yeah. adjust it? Or what kind of beard is that, and, 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 and does he always cover for you? That, that would be the... <laughs> Alex, you know what I saw? I saw this this thing on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It was uh, Alex Bennett. It was you on the Saturday night thing. The Saturday night, um, what do you call that? Oh, Dead Night? Oh, or really? Night oh, dead? Yeah, yeah, Saturday yeah. Night Dead? Is that on YouTube? Yeah. Everything, two, my whole life two is two hours. On. It's two hours of clips of you during the commercial breaks of like three or four different shows. It's two hours, though. They, they even have you with the picture with your, with your toupee. I can't see. Yes, really. I, ha I I have seen that. Uh, I have seen that. You know, it's yeah. funny. It's funny if if you live long enough, and YouTube is around long enough, almost everything you've ever done in your life will show up okay. there. You well, know. I was watching it and I was skipping through it, really quick, and then I all of a sudden I saw the one with the toupee, and I said, I know that was a joke, right? I know he. And then you were trying I to paid, pass it off. I paid. And then you, I paid a thousand dollars for that goddamn toupee, yeah. and I was talked about it after. I was, I, and I said, "Thank God." I was supposed to get two of them for that price, and the guy only gave me one. 
And wow. I used that one once on a TV special as a joke, and on that show as a joke. Dick yeah. Bright was on here. Buddy Love was on here yeah. on the segments. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a thing we did for a TV channel uh, down in uh, near in San Jose, yeah. I think. TV 36. Or TV 36. Six. And uh, we used to show uh, horror films. Mm -hmm. And then this were what we call the interstitial programming within the horror film. You know, yeah. um, it's yeah, pretty good. It's pretty good. I had I had Jerry Seinfeld on that show once. I don't think they have that in there, but he was on that yeah. show. That's what Nobody. Zachary used to do at some point. You know, Zachary did it great. Yeah, yeah he yeah. was good at it. There was a guy oh, here. Yeah. In case you don't know, there was a guy here in New York called John Zachary, and he used to run horror films on Saturday nights. And uh, I got to know him because he became a disc jockey, and he came to work from with me at WPLJ. PLJ. And we were uh, we were very very close. And uh, he, uh, you know, it's funny because there are people who have a reputation, and they're known in a certain area. Okay, uh, uh, and outside of that area, nobody ever heard of them. Okay. So mm -hmm. I lived in the Bay Area all my life. So everybody went, oh, you know John Zachary. Oh, Zach. Oh, he's terrific. I never knew John Zachary's fame. Occasionally, I think he put out some records, and occasionally yeah. he'd be on national TV. But uh, I knew him just as the guy I worked with and that I enjoyed, you know. Uh, it's like, I'll tell you, another guy who was a legend in New York City was Gene Shepard. Anybody know who Jean, Gene oh, Shepard sure. is? Oh, sure. Uh, did you ever see A Christmas Story? Sure. sure. He's the narrator. He's the guy who wrote uh, the the book. It was he it wrote was, it. I think. Yeah, he wrote. He didn't write the screenplay, but he wrote the uh, book it came from. Uh, and uh, I I knew Gene, uh, and I used to go over to my friend Earl Dowd's place for dinner, and there was Gene, and uh, <clears throat> you know everybody went, you know Gene Shepard. Oh, every night I used to go to bed and I used to go into the covers and I used to listen to him on the radio right. and so on, and I never knew that Gene Shepard. All I knew was this guy who, you know, I had dinner with, and he was interesting up to a point. Uh, I say up to a point. I've told this story before, but <laughs> when have I ever been stopped from telling a story again? Uh, I'm at dinner at Earl's house, and Gene is, uh, we're all t doing something, and Gene then starts telling one of his stories, because he was famous for telling stories sure. about his life and so on, you know. Mm -hmm. And he would go on forever with his, oh, yeah. with his stories, you know. Yeah, and then you come to a fork in the road, and you don't know whether you're going to go left, and you don't know whether you're going to go right. What is going to be down the left side? Who knows? What's going to be down the right? And he goes on, because he had 45 minutes to kill every night. He had to do that, right? <laughs> So now we're at dinner, and he's telling a story. And I'm going, oh, this is interesting. This is nice. This is wonderful. But I'm getting tired of it. And I excuse myself from the table because I fin we've finished dinner. And I go into the living room, and I turn on the television set, and it's the Joe Franklin show. Oh, wow. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the Joe Franklin show, but it was a show I did quite often because it was just hilarious to do because... Joe was I, I just I can't explain it unless you anybody you've seen you've seen the Joe oh, Franklin show right Jeff oh. you've seen it right Robert oh, yes. none of the rest of these people know what I'm talking about it was camp yes uh, but Joe Franklin uh, ran the show where he had people come in and sit there and talk and you know he would always make them sound like the biggest thing in the world oh so and so he's playing over in uh, Passaic New Jersey at the Passaic New Jersey Mall he's yeah. one of the greatest singers in America right yeah. so anyway i'm watching i turn on the tv set and there's joe franklin who's his guest gene shepherd <laughs> and what's he telling him all about and the story he's telling him the one he was telling us at the dinner That's table oh, wow. it's like it continued where i left off wow. and I, I, I felt robbed because i was going to Go back and say, you lousy son of a bitch. You can't ah. even tell us an original story at dinner. You got to tell one you just told Joe Franklin a couple of hours ago when you were taping his show. So. Did, didn't you also work with Leon Lewis at a certain point? <clears throat> yes. But I'd like to think Leon Lewis worked with me. Well, okay. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> I, I, I used to listen to Leon. He was yeah. compared. I mean, compared to you, he was a completely different show. Right. Totally different. Well, to begin show. with, he smoked and had this cancerous laugh. Yes, he did. Yeah, 
Yeah. And he Leon, seemed like a sweet man. Well, what happened is we, when I went to, uh, when I went to WMCA, uh, they decided, that because they wanted us to do five hours overnight, okay, and they didn't think someone should have to do five hours overnight. It's a long mm-hmm. amount of time. So what they did is they, we only had to work four days. I only had to work four days a week, and the other three days was Leon Lewis. So that's how it was split up by that way. Then eventually I went on. I got an earlier shift when they went all talk, and he got the overnights. So that's where you know Leon Lewis from. Yep. You know. But I'm still alive. Yeah, that's right. Not for he much, seemed like not a for sweet much guy. longer, but I'm still alive. What? No, I just said I, he seemed like a sweet guy. At least well, that's a, what he, he portrayed. He's a nice, over nice enough guy. I, I have nothing to say nasty about Leon, yeah. you know. Um, and if I did, I would I would not keep it to myself, uh, you know. So, uh, but this, Alex, wasn't there a lady who uh, mm-hmm. was on the show right after yours, and then she died? Somebody, uh, some woman after Joy? me, and she died. Oh, you're talking about uh, what's her name? Yeah, okay. I mean, if, oh, Joy right. Behar. No, not Joy Behar. I wish oh, she, no. I wish she was She's dead. Still alive. No. I wish she was dead, but. <laughs> Um, no, you're talking about uh, about uh, oh god, my mind. Not he, Allison Steele. No, no, he's talking no. about Sirius XM. And I had a woman. We had a woman. What's her name? God damn it! Oh yeah, you couldn't stand the well. Well, she couldn't stand me. Yeah, you know. I can I can see why nobody would like this. Oh, she was now. one of the most terrible human beings. In fact, when she died, I did a little memorial to her on the air, and her. Daughter, her uh, her sister called up to speak on the show and said, I said, do you have any fond memories of, uh, of and I'm trying to remember her name now. Yeah, me too. God Lynn damn Samuels. it. What is Lynn my Samuels. Lynn Samuels. Lynn Samuels. Lynn Samuels. I think the last time you forgot, Albert remembered for you. Yes. <laughs> yes, right. But Lynn Samuels. And uh, I said to her, I said, uh, do you have any, any fond memories of Lynn you'd like to share with us? And she said, no, she was one of the most terrible women in the world. <laughs> This is her sister at a memorial show. Wow. You know, uh, it was, uh, she died in her apartment and she was dead for, I think, a day before they found the body because nobody, <laughs> nobody called her. Nobody would. Nobody, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's the only, the only reason I have a wife is that I know that if I drop dead, I don't want to be in this apartment for like five days, rotting there away you, until somebody there you finds go. me. You know. Hey, Kevin. How do you like my yeah, spiffy like, lighting I've gotten back of me now? That's pretty slick, man. Huh? Is that slick or what? Yeah, I think I'm going back and having a flashback. I keep improving. <laughs> I keep improving this show. Okay. You betcha. <laughs> Next content. Anyway, um, but no, uh, um, Lynn was the most horrible, one of the most horrible people I've ever known. Uh, and uh, I, and there were there were parts of me that kind of liked her. You know, I kept trying to make her like me. You know, like so I was never fun. nasty to her or anything like that. And no matter what I do, she'd always manage to jab me in the ribs while I'm talking to her. You know, and um, uh, uh, she just g- always gave me nothing but a bad time all the time. And maybe I deserved it. I don't know. Yes, uh, yes. I, uh, I was just gonna say I watched Alan. a uh, YouTube, or I guess it was Skype or something. Mm-hmm. video from like June of 2015 mm-hmm. where Phil was trying to explain to the whole panel um, that about gay people are they they get to pick and choose if they want to be gay and <laughs> and you have come a long ways since then uh, I think I counted 420 times you cut somebody off in the middle of their sentence what? Kidding about that part. I, I Phil sent me this link to this video where, you know, where he believes that you know gay people all have a choice if they want to be gay or not. Yeah. You well, remember? you know what happens is when you know, I don't know if it happened to you when you were thirteen, but uh, I was asked, "Do you want to be gay? Or you want to be straight?" And the person had a clipboard, and I I said, yeah. "I think I'll take straight because I I like pussy." Okay. Yeah. I don't know what I like about pussy because when you get really close to it, it's not that good looking. Yeah. Yeah. When I turned 13, I said, I'll take the bar mitzvah. 
<laughs> I'll take the bar mitzvah. Yeah, I right. mean, but I mean, gay or straight, you know, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can't do. believe he still thinks that way. You abso it's it's absolutely, it's absolutely, how many guys here, it was a life decision to be gay? Oh, none of you are gay. So. Huh. Oh. I, I like the story that you had about where you were at a party, Alex, and you were probably pretty stoned or something like that. And you looked down and you were getting a blowjob and it was not a girl. And you said it was an incredible blowjob. No, I didn't and say that. Bill no, no. had a cow. No, here's the story. <laughs> Phil sending I you was, to begin, propaganda. To begin with, I wish I could use the excuse that I was stoned, but I wasn't. Okay. But I was at this, somebody dragged me to an orgy. And there were like, you know, 20 people all on four mattresses. They dragged you, huh? You know, well, uh, no, the problem with an orgy is getting toes up your nose. You know, I mean, yeah, it's just, uh, it's not, it's, it, there's nothing sexy about it because it's just, it smells of it sweat, smells. you know, it, 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 I like to go, I, I would like to take somebody, go over in the corner and have sex with them, but not have sex with them, with all these other people. But anyway, so I'm, I'm doing whatever I'm doing with some woman and there is somebody starting to blow me and I look down and it's a guy. And I go, well, I didn't know it was a guy when it started. So I may as well see if I enjoy it at all. Okay? Because why not? You know? How many times in life are you handed the ability to find out whether you're gay or not? And so I let him do it for a while. And I decided that once I felt his stubble against my thigh, <laughs> that the whole I game was right. over. Okay, it was that just nothing, part. nothing, sec up. nothing, time out. Yes, time out. Yeah. There was nothing sexy about it. And I, so I don't think, I, now, now I don't, I, I don't have the experience you have, but I don't think that one blowjob from a guy is going to make somebody turn gay or straight. No, no. You know, I mean, I played doctor when I was seven well, or eight years old. I mean, look, old. I mean, let's face it, in that particular action is suction. You know, but what I like keep, about what I like and keeping about, the teeth out of the way. What right? I like about sex isn't it isn't necessarily make pee pee feel good. It is everything. It is the the feel Absolutely. of the woman and the, the feeling of the breasts and the, the and all of that, which I wouldn't get with a guy. Okay, all I would get is you know stubble on my thigh. So I mean I so I and I always use that experience. I always it was very honest in telling that experience because I said at least I know I'm not gay. But most guys go through life always fearful that they might be. You know. But, but if I recall that guy still sends you a little something for Christmas, am I right? Is that how it went? <laughs> yeah, he sends me the, he, he sends me the residue from his shaver. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is this a new segment? You know what I you know yeah. what I admitted to today on uh, on my Facebook page. No, um, uh, and I, I I didn't tell this. Somebody wrote, well, Woody Allen, because I wrote a thing said, you know, Pharaoh v. Allen or Allen v. Pharaoh. Uh, HBO should be ashamed of themselves. And then people wrote a whole bunch of stuff. And one woman I know named Laura Myers wrote, uh, well, after all, he did take naked pictures of Sun Yi. Well, he did this, of course, when she was like 21 or something like that. And I said, I've taken picture, naked pictures of women I've had sex with, you know? And, and, and I, I was waiting for other people to say, so have I, but they, they didn't. But I don't think it's that uncommon to do that. You know? No. It keeps me happy on Saturday nights that people do that. Well, That's yeah. my porn night. Well, it's what you call your greatest hits. Absolutely. You know, so I mean, I uh, I was very happy to admit that. I mean, it didn't, and I was admitting it also because I was saying, so Woody Allen did it, big deal, you know. He right. he soon he was off to college a lot. He needed some uh, some uh, 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 what do you call it, a spank Whatever. bank, you know. So I mean, uh, a lot of people consider that to be, let's say, outside of the normal. What? Okay, okay, guys, how many of you have ever taken a picture of a woman you were with naked? It's his daughter. Look at that. Look at that. Hands went up. Boom. 
So, you know. But now with my daughter. I can't, I can't help it, Jeff, if you're not a good photographer. <laughs> <laughs> he left the sound but on. You're talking to a guy who's been into video and photography and all of that, you know. Let's see how my new camera works here. <laughs> Your new camera? No, no, don't show. Is that, is that something naked? Don't do that. If it's naked. Why? What? Yeah, we'll be. Oh, she's not naked, naked. No. Yeah, okay, oh, why? I got it. I got it. Can I read you this? This I got this today. This was I got this from. Uh, uh, let me see here. I got this from. Uh, uh, I got a when message. We talk, I, I about got a message. Here, here it is, folks. You can actually see it. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let me, let me put it here where you guys can see it. Okay. Okay. What does it say? All right. Health. Well, anyway, New I'll read. I'll read. New York City Health. New York City Health. Three one one. Ready for this? Mm -hmm. Now you know I'm signed up. We're signed up to get our shots on Saturday. Right. And they've changed oh. the location. Now they want a naked picture of you. Yeah. Right. Uh, anyway. Um, Second dose of COVID-19 vaccine past due. Ah. Reminder to get vaccinated where you received your first dose. You mean in my arm? Uh, now, th it's wonderful they sent me this, except there are two things wrong about it. I think to begin with, it's because they didn't give me an appointment that was four weeks after my shot. OK, right. so they're basing it on that because one database isn't talking to the other database. All right. Uh, then I decided I was so pissed about this. I was going to go down to the school where I got my first shot and show them this and say, hey, you guys got to get it together because I got a thing that says I got to go over to this other place. And I go down to this high school and it says this vaccine site is closed. They shut it down. That's why they moved me to the other one. So how can I possibly go back to the uh, 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 reminder to get vaccinated where you received your first dose? This Look, is a, this, how about this if this I one, give you one of these stickers? Crush. What does it say? Crush Let me COVID. Piss you off even more. I got mine. Yeah. <laughs> shut up. Just everybody, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I got mine. Hey, Kevin I'm holding Gagiana. out for a lollipop. Yeah. So now we have to take a Uber down to, to, to this other place, which is far away. And, uh, you know, I, uh, but this is, send us this. And Marjorie got one too. Same, same exact thing. Oh, gee, I haven't gotten your shot yet. Well, maybe if you had uh, given us an appointment then, we would have been happy to go. I was trying to get my mother in law set up, right? Yeah. I got her three different appointments at three different places. <laughs> Easily. In one day, no wow. problem. I was able to get this one uh, I found on next door, mm -hmm. you know, the app next door. Yeah. Somebody posted this thing, so I got it, and I got it for my mother-in-law, and I already had one for her mm -hmm. set up at Levi's. And <clears throat> then she they, they send an email saying Kaiser got some. So I set her up at Kaiser, and then this this other one came up on Sunday night, and I signed up, and I decided, what the hell, I'm going to try and get mine. We both got them. So I cut, I canceled the one at Kaiser once we got, you know, this one in our arm. But then I tried to cancel the one at Levi's, and it says you can't, can't, you can't cancel it online anywhere. And you try and cancel it on phone, the phone number they give you, and you sit there and you listen to them tell them to cancel it. You have to be on the phone. Please wait. And they tell you that in 18 different languages. And by the time you get to the last language, they hang up on you. And they tell you that, you know, please hold. And they tell you that in all different languages. And they say, just, you know, oh, we're, we're too busy. We can't take your call right now. Click. And I did okay. it like three times driving from San Jose all the way to you know home, which is an hour and ten minutes, listening to this crap, and they just hung up. And I said, "Screw it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cancel it." And they're bitching about people not canceling their appointments, yeah, and that I screwed told... them up today because they had a, you know, they had her set up for an, a, a shot today, mm -hmm. and she didn't show up because she already got one. But I tried to cancel it. Who do we just lose? I don't know. Who do we just lose? Oh, Charlie. Charlie. Oh, we lost Charlie. Okay, oh. he'll be back. 
Anyway, but yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, I, yeah I, it was pretty... I made one. I made one. Well, Kaiser wasn't taking appointments. Then Valley Med, I got into Valley Med, but it was like for the twenty seventh. So I went back and I checked Levi, and Levi was like three days away. So I went and I had to call that number. Luckily, I got the guy. But the reason why it takes so long is because the guy was so slow canceling and then trying to get two appointments for for the wife and I together. Yeah, it's probably Levi. the same place because it was um it was the county place. Yeah, that so Levi's terrible goes well, service. I, what bothers me about this whole thing is, you know, I wanted one four weeks. I mean, I could have already been sitting around here saying, oh, I got mine a week ago today, you know. But no, they couldn't do that because, hey, you know, it, it's it's uh, whenever. So, I mean, I, I don't send me a thing that just rubs it in. I tried to get a thing, and you didn't but do I it. I think the lady used about a six-foot-long needle in my arm and just went, Kank! Yeah, they, they told me they're going to give me the long needle, and they gave her the short needle, I guess because the arm size or something. Well, they gave me the long needle, and it hurt for a day. You know, it was a yeah. muscle ache, you know, yeah. no big deal. Yeah. But my mother got deathly sick yesterday and today. Wow. She went home from work today. What do you mean deathly sick? Well, pretty, she was puking and everything else. Wow. Was this I her, was this her second? Was it, that wait a minute. Was this her, Moderna shot. Was this her that second? That was the first, first Moderna shot. First Moderna. Oh. You should, uh, you know. Wow, really? I don't know anybody. Years old too. I, I know a lot of people here in California that have got their COVID shot. I don't know anybody that's had a bad reaction to Pfizer, and I think that's just luck. That I no, don't that was know the that. first. That's the second one I've heard on Moderna. The first one was from a doctor that oh, got yeah. sick. I have several friends that have got Moderna the first time around. They got sick, chills. It's fever. just the I didn't get anything. I got I, my yeah. arm, my arm ached a little bit, and that was it. Well, yeah, wait till the second one. Well, I you know supposedly if you're my age, the second one doesn't affect you that much. Charlie had his no second problem. one today, right? Huh? What'd yeah, you say? Wait, wait, wait. What'd you say, Kevin? I said my mother had no problem. She's on ninety. Did you got the uh, second shot? Both of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, so Didn't I mean, who it. knows? Who knows what the story is? But they uh, okayed the Johnson and Johnson, and that's it's all people, huh? You know, yeah. depends on who you are. Yeah. I thought that I thought they were going to approve it tomorrow. Or they they've approved it. The, the one level has approved it. It's got to go to the right. next thing for final approval, and then they're going to start uh, fucking, distributing fucking it. bureaucracies. And they say on this one, there's only seven, the ninety-two percent, uh, seventy-two percent efficacy, but there's like a ninety-six, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, not getting ill rate. In other words, you get it, it's like but, a bad yeah. cold, yeah. and that's it. And that I, nobody I, has died on the Johnson and Johnson, so I mean from not from the Johnson and Johnson, but because of the Johnson and Johnson. So yeah, it the the one shot takes twenty eight days for full immunity with Johnson and Johnson. So yeah, well, so you saw but that that's within that's that's in line of the other ones. Look yeah. look look at look at Tricker Steve. He's all tucked in. <laughs> Is it cold where you are, Tr Steve? He's in Iowa. Uh, he's, um... This tr truck doesn't have a table that I can use, so. So the largest truck yeah, stop. I'm laying in my bed with. Yeah. The Peter largest Bacon. truck stop in the United States is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. Iowa. The Iowa 80. Man, yeah, there must stop. be a lot of hookers cold running. <laughs> so let's get a report. Let's get actually, a report. No. Let's get a report from a Doctor oh, Death who's going to give. It's pretty clean, actually. Is it okay? I want Doctor Death to give us his daily report. Oh, well, we lost uh, 2,337 Americans today. Oh, that's half as much as last month in a well, day. We're not, yeah, we're, we're not keeping good. up it's our end down. of the bargain, coming are we? Down. Yeah, it's coming down. Um, well, maybe you back on the softball field soon. Yeah. I think that we can pretty well plan. I would say we could plan on going to Thanksgiving dinner with relatives <clears> this year. I, it, it, oh, yeah. this next Thanksgiving, not next week. The one coming. Right, uh, right. Thanksgiving. I think so. Uh, uh, I, are, we like. all, yeah. are we all invited to your house again? Yes, <laughs> of course. Ooh. Yes? Of course. You know, okay. We make a big turkey and, you know. All we, right. Yeah. Well. Hey, we're going to New York for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to come. You know. All right. Jeff, you, you and... Uh, 
the I'll come. Impaired. Yeah, want to come I'll down? Come. Please come on down. You know. Uh, plus, we'll we'll all be really we'll be non we'll have our shots and everything. You know. Yeah. I feel like a dog. Okay. Yeah. Does your dog have his yeah. shots? You know. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I have my shots. I it, woof. Yeah, but uh, also Charlie, ha how's uh, how's the uh, leak in the apartment? Is it all fixed up and everything? Everything's all fixed, fine. We've got water, got hot water. Oh, it's just, oh, it's heavenly. Oh, oh, heavenly it's water. good. You know, you know what it was. This was this and and Charlie got his second cut. shot today. <laughs> well, no, what it was. This was God's way of saying uh, to to Charlie and people in Texas. See, go for COVID and having to stay indoors isn't that bad. <laughs> I think it's a I think it's a way of telling people in Texas you shouldn't have voted for that goddamn governor. Is what yeah, it or, the, or the orange turd. Oops, you didn't mention that. Is that governor going to get reelected, Charlie? Uh, I uh, I I have I, probably not now. You know, Beto's talking about running against him. Really? I yeah. think Beto could win. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he almost beat Ted Cruz uh, uh, two years ago. I think right now he could probably beat Ted Cruz without even going out and campaigning. Oh, easily. Yeah. Isn't yeah. isn't Beto the former teacher that's gay or something like that? No, no, no. No, he's not. Gay. Why is it always gay with you? Well, you got gay in your mind tonight. What's going I on? I don't know. Man? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> is there something you want to tell us? No. That's a different segment. Were you were you in the build today? Is there something you want to tell us? Yeah. Those Wednesday nights. Yeah, that's a good segment. You know something, though? I think, uh, you know, this is an interesting segment, actually. I think that almost every wife, at one time or another, wonders if her husband isn't gay. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, just that, that wondering, you know. Like, I've always been, a lot of people have always thought I was gay. When I was in school, high school, they all thought I was gay because my father took me to the opera and the ballet. Okay? <laughs> well, that's kind of like an FBI clue. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. You no, know, uh, no. I, 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 outside of that one incident, I've never had a gay incident in my life. Okay? But I've always been kind of, what do we call metrosexual? You know? Uh, in, in California, we call that anything will do. Yeah, in in New Jersey, they call it "let's kill him," don't they? I thought it was. I thought it was in any port in the yeah. storm. I don't know. Uh, but uh, so and Robert, uh, so you 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 got your shot? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yay. Tomorrow afternoon at one o three. One o three. Oh boy. Yeah, that's oh, right. That's right. <laughs> uh, uh, hurry up! We have a guy coming in at one o four. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're, you're only allowed to be there what at, at uh, you, you know what I love is that they they say mine always yeah. <laughs> has always said do not get get here five minutes beforehand, but not before that because we don't have any place for you to wait. And then you get they there. They made me wait in the car. And the, no, and then you get there, and and what wait what for what? You know, there's a line a mile long. Yeah, so, I think I'm going to drive to the place like this, you know, just so that. I'm, yeah, I'm well, I'm going to go. I'm going to get there a little early, and when they say you're too early, I'm going to say the last time there was a line, okay? And Tom, if you're old, if you there's don't no have much if, time. if there's nobody yeah, in front of right. me right now, why should I have to wait? Here, give me my goddamn shot. I've been waiting five and a half weeks for it. And I've got people on this show who are just sick and tired of me complaining about not getting my second dose. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to have to complain about after you get your as second I dose? Said, as I said last night, you know, the only time I've ever stood in a line that long for something before was when I got an iPhone. And at least there was an iPhone at the end of it, you know? Oh, boy. It's just, you know. I, 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 I think that they're... Certainly, they're doing, uh, they're trying to do the best job they can, but they're not doing it. You know, I don't know. My iPhone I'm, works fine. No, I'm not talking Char about the <laughs> iPhone. But Char Charlie had a had a quick in and out. California, Northern yeah. California has been really good. No cancellations, or and right. they've been opening up more areas up here. Mm -hmm. LA's had a hard time, but. Seems like everywhere is doing good except for New York. Well, here, I mean, I, 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 Shecky, okay. Shecky went in and got his first shot, and he just went right in, right out. You know, mm -hmm. I had to wait two hours. 
No side effects for him? No. Now, now he's getting a second shot tomorrow, and I'll find out if he had a line or not. I think he had the Pfizer. No, he had the Moderna. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, he had the Moderna. Yeah. But most of the people the who line go- went faster this time than it did on the first shot. Hmm. What do you mean? Oh, it went faster? Yeah. And how long did it take you on the first shot? The first shot, uh, my appointment was 2 o'clock, and I think I got the injection at like at 2.50. My appointment was 5 o'clock today, and I had it at 5.15. Wow. wow. Nice. Needle in the arm. That's fine. You know, I, I just hope it's fast. That'd be nice. Yes, Jeff, did you have your hand up? Mine was less than uh, three, a half a day, a half an hour. Less than a half an Nothing. hour. That's right. And I was there early, and they said, oh, you're early. And I, and I said, yeah. Is that a problem? And they go, no. Well, that's Connecticut. I wish I were getting my shots up there. I know. Civil I'm also getting my rabies shot while I'm there. Yeah, that's true. As well. Yeah. Shingles, get them all. Shingles, no, I have shingles. I mean, I had the shingles shot. I don't <laughs> shot, okay. I don't have, I have shingles now. I, had shingles. I got an aluminum siding shot. <laughs> As I said before, shingles is the only disease that is badly named. Because when I first heard about shingles, I thought it was something you got in your ass. Doesn't that <laughs> sound like some kind of an anal disease? Shingles. Oh, I thought it was my shins. Your shins start aching. Yeah, but oh. my, my uh, I got mine right here, right here. I my doctor, the doctor right. I went to said, you still, have, you still have to do that, that uh, operation thingy, huh? Yeah, I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do it because it's getting harder for me to see, you know, yeah. to open my eyes enough to see. So I'll but probably the do it. And then Marjorie and I, 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 I would like to get rid of these bags. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's $4,000. But if you do the whole uh, thing, you know, but so I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm thinking of doing it because. I'm thinking of doing it, you know. She, and she said she'd pay for half, so uh, I may, I may, I may get my uh, my bags taken care of. They just house. they put a filler in there, or no? They just they just take the, all the stuff out and then just kind of e- sew it up. Epoxy. Uh, yeah, I might not be on the air for a couple of days because I'm going to look like I was beaten up by Marjorie. Well, you probably have black eyes. Oh, Where you'll, have, you'll have, have black people. eyes for weeks, but that I don't mind, oh. you know. Take take pictures. Right. Take That's pictures right. just in case you need to use those. If Marjorie starts acting up, you can use those yeah, to right. <laughs> She beat me! <laughs> she got a black eye once, and I wouldn't go out with her. I didn't oh, want to walk yeah. down the street with her. She got a black eye because I punched her. No, she got a black eye because she was, I, I forget what, she bumped into something or whatever. And it got a, you got a kind of a black one. And I said, I'm not going out with you on, with that because people are going to look at me like I'm some kind of brute. You know, yes. yes my, my, my friend, this really cute Vietnamese girl when I was younger, we used, I used to pick her up. She used to work at Valley Med and I used to pick her up. We'd go to the mini gourmet. It's like an all night place. Everyone yeah. from the club goes there after. Yeah. She used to work graveyard shift. So I'd pick her up. She had a nose job. And yeah, she had two black eyes. Black and I picked her up the time and I said, I'm not going out with you again until you're healed because everybody's mm-hmm. looking at me and they're like, I beat you. <laughs> well, I'd also like to get rid of the turkey neck too. So, yeah. And, and the We're eyes. not going to recognize you. Huh? Yeah. We're not going to recognize you, you when could, you come you back. You could have your foreskin reattached too. Well, no. I mean, if I have enough of a facelift, get a deal. if I have enough of a facelift, I won't have to grow a beard. I'll have one. Uh, so, you know. <laughs> Anyway, oh, hey, uh, you know something? It's almost time to play the theme. Is it time oh. to play the theme? Let's play the theme. There we are. Hear the, do you guys hear that when I play it? Yeah, yeah. a little yeah, bit. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Hey, we can fun. this has been fun night, tonight. Uh, let's, yeah, let's, really. all, let's all tuck Trucker Steve in. There's a hard one to say. Tuck Trucker Steve in. Uh, good night, Steve. Our favorite Bye. music night. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Brian. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Uh, it's Dancing Robert. Uh huh. And thank you for the suggestions for the show, Robert. That's going to put us up there with that girl with her makeup tips. You know? <laughs> Alan, thank you. Kevin, thank you very much. And uh, Charlie, of course, thank you. Why don't all of you give a big wave goodbye and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back, okay? There we go. Okay, there they go. They're out of here. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, let me see. We'll be back again tomorrow night. Uh, it's long about uh, 
1030. Next is Jack Bishop. He's got a show called The Intersection, and you should call it just like you call this program. Well, most of you don't. But anyway, uh, you can call it, and uh, uh, you use Skype on that one, and you use the, uh, the name Gabnet Live uh, to call. That's the number to call. I'll be back again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life, 1030 Eastern Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, wear a mask and be safe out there. See you later. Bye.